When and how should your company apologize for causing a crisis? I'm Edward Siegel, author of the best-selling book, Crisis Ahead, 101 Ways to Prepare for and Bounce Back from Disasters, Scandals, and Other Emergencies. In this episode of the Crisis Management Minute, you'll find out the right way to issue an apology for your organization's role in creating a crisis. The public expects that companies that create a crisis will take full responsibility for their actions and apologize for what they did or how they did it. But I have three important words of advice for organizations that decide to issue an apology. Be very careful. That's because there could be legal implications for businesses that express remorse or apologize for their role in a crisis. A deciding factor could be where the company is located and the laws that apply there. If and when an organization apologizes, it's best to do it the right way. That means quickly issuing the apology. The company should also express an appropriate level of remorse or regret and explain what it'll do to correct the situation and ensure the crisis isn't repeated. The Children's Museum of Indianapolis is a case in point. They had to apologize for including a watermelon salad on their food court menu that was part of their Juneteenth activities. The museum told the Washington Post that it had permanently removed the racially insensitive item from the menu. Be sure to keep your corporate attorney in the loop about your crisis and plans to do or say something about it. You never know how your actions or words could be used against you. An attorney can also advise whether there are local, federal, or state laws related to your crisis. For example, they could include race, age, and gender discrimination statutes. By following the steps I've shared with you today, you can help ensure that your company's apology for one crisis doesn't create another crisis. Next time on the Crisis Management Minute, I'll tell you why CEOs should be seen and heard during a business crisis. Remember, it's not if your brand, company, or organization will have a crisis, but when. And the sooner you are prepared for it, the better.